hello everyone welcome to other video of network analysis and python series in this video we will talk about bipartite graphs so what is bipartite graphs bipartite graph is or bi graph is a graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint and independent sets l and r such that every edge connected a vertex in l to one in r vertex six l and r are usually called the part of the graphs eventually a bi graph is a graph that does not contain any odd length cycle to implement the bi graph we have to you make use of python module network x so let me tell how to do the implementation of bipartite graphs the bipartite function is not present directly inside the network x like any other to make the use of bipartite we have to use its sub libraries as here network x dot algorithm in the algorithm sub library we we have the bipartite function written over there so now you all see there that we have to implement and then so first of all we have to impl import the network x module and then uh, the from the network x dot algorithm we have to implement bipartite after it, now the bipartite has got loaded i am going to create the graph b let's say as nx dot graph that's the caps is there keep in the mind okay now we are adding some nodes as a b c d and e and the other after that we are leveling this as the first node set up node as so for this we put bipartite equal to zero after that we node added few more nodes as one two three or four and label them as bipartite one or second set of bipartite graph then we just connect the edge as a to one b to one c to one c to three d to two e to three e to four etc etc but here you have to keep in mind that you cannot add the entire edge from a set as you cannot add a to b b to c c to d d to e or any combination of this or one to two Two to three, three to four, or any combination of one to four. Next, we are going to test some few functions working on the bipartite graph. So to know a graph is a bipartite or not, we can use the function bipartite dot is bipartite graph name. So here we have we can see the graph in the past in the picture. In the demonstration beside below, that's A, B, C, D, E connected to the one, two, three, four. So that is a bipartite graph. So the function returns a Boolean function true. Now, if we add O to B, then the graph lost its bipartite functionalities. Then the bipartite dot by underscore is bipartite function return false. Now, similarly. We can also do some more operations as set up node is present in the bipartite graph. For this, we have s x is equal define as set, and then check if the set is present in the bipartite or not. For this, we have to in input the two parameter as the graph itself and the set of node, and if the setup node present in the bipartite function, the function will return you a boolean function, boolean values like a true or false. And here you can see 
few more function few more operations on by graph if a graph if some set of edge or some set of node is not present in the uh, if not present in the graph or the graph is not a bifurcate graph you will get a network x error called the graph is not a by graph then you have to do some do the necessary actions so whenever we are going to working on the by graph you must have to keep in mind that the graph is by by graph if and only if it does not contain any odd cycle the by graph has two colorable as two as it has to be divided into two groups or two sets and the spectrum of graph must have to be symmetric now we are going to talking about the by graph present projection the by graph projection is divided into two parts as l or u by graph projection and r or right by graph projection or v by graph projection network x node of the group l or left hand side or the set u or first set is a pair of nodes that is connected and then some of graph as is neighbor of the second group or r group here you can see some neighboring group from a on the previous group previous graph we have a to e and here we are adding few more graph functions and some of the graph function is presenting on the new node connections they are making the connections with the new node and they are and with respect to the previous r said so we are labeling them and and mark them with the red color as a to h e to g these two new connections are not present in the previous function but new in new bipolarite graph projection functions the here you also can the projected graph can be considered as created a new set and then previous graph comma then previous graph or that graph function and the new set this the function will project to new projected graph here the networking here we also have other term called network edge network weightage in the by graph we also can produce the network weightage functions after not only this but there are also some matching function that compute the maximum cardiality matching and minimum weight of the full matching by graph thus for this we using maximum matching functions this all can be given in their network x document defense now we have already have said you that if we put some weightage on the nodes then you can show it that the what's the most node or what is the most important path and according to them you can get or you can assign what is the most according to the net most uh, useful network most useful path in the network system and also get the news feel of the people's network or you can interconnected node network or internet network system this can be easily calculated from this function for this we just need a set and you have to call pipeline dot weighted projected graph function graph comma new set so we just coming into the summary of the so summary of the presentation no separate class is pipeline graph is called x you can use graph di graph multiple graph or any kind of graph and make them bipolarite if possible the bipolarite is not present in the root directory you it is present in network x dot uh, network x dot algorithm subdirectory from network x dot algorithm subdirectory you have to import them then they are has to have many many algorithms but most of the algorithms is as same as the graph functions then you can show a bipolarite is 
check the by check any graph is bipolarite you can use is bipolarite node set that is node is present in the bipolarite graph so you can set a you can set any graph to a bipolarite graph or transfer graph into a bipolarite graph you can also set projected graph or you can project any graph you can also use the print function or draw draw function using the matplotlib matplotlib libraries and and visualize the same graph we are using in here so keep practicing to to know more about it you must have to practice and practice more about functions we will talk about more when we are talking about a um, network the social networking connection or any other in these terms we have a lot and lot of use full of pie graphs and the pie graph is one of the most important subject one of the most important topic in uh, district mathematics if we study this well you also can know about the terms so thank you if you need any connections call bed and code thank you We'll show you on next tutorial.